Hey guys, it's LG ST2004 here, and today I'm going to be showing you my Walt Disney Studios slash One of Vista DVD collection. So here I've got 10 DVDs in total, 6 in a see-through case, and 4 in a black case. So in total I've got 3 Touchstone movies, 4 Disney movies, 1 Lucasfilm movie, a Marvel Studios movie, and a 12th Century Studios movie. So despite that, this was released is now owned by Disney, so yeah. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. First up with Runaway Bride from 2000. It's a 2004 reprint, by the way. The catalog number is E09080. Here's the front, spine, profile picture of Maggie Carpenter, and the back. And this is Touchstone Movie, co produced by Paramount Pictures. Here's the disc. Inside on the left, we have the Chapter Search Index. And on the right, there's Maggie's leg and skirt. Okay, next up with Sea Biscuit from 2003. Oh, I've got to show you that from the front, it's rated PG and contains sexual refer references and low level course language. But this movie has different consumer advice and it's a different rating. It's rated M and contains adult themes. And the catalog number is D51980. Here's the front, spine profile picture of Toby Maguire and the back. The special features, oh, dang it. The special features are featured commentary with director Gary Ross and filmmaker Stephen Sober, bringing the legend to life, the making of Seabiscuit, uh, anatomy of a movie movement, and Seabiscuit, does this war and moral, the 1938 match. And it's a Spy Glass Entertainment movie covered by Universal Studios and DreamWorks. Here's the disc. And that is the inside. Oh, I've got to stand this way up. There we go. And the last Touchstone movie that I have on DVD is The Proposal from 2009. It's rated PG and contains wild course language and sexual references. The catalog number is E09578. Here's the front, spy and profile picture of Andrew and the back. The special features are audio commentary with director Anne Fletcher and writer Peter Charlie, deleted scenes, an alternate ending and set antics, outtakes and other absurdities from the proposal. Here's the disc. And now we're moving on to the, the Disney ones. Oh, oh god damn, oh come on. These two fell down. Either way, the first Disney DVD I've got is Wizards of Waverly Place, the movie. It's an extended edition from 2009. The catalog number is E10960. Here's the front, spine profile picture of Selena Gomez, and the back. The special feature is Wizpix. Here's the disc, and that is the inside. And the next DVD I've got is, one moment, one moment, there we are, Mary Poppins from 2010. Either way, it's a 2002, it has 2002 content on, oh, oh no, these two DVDs fell down. Either way, it has 2002 content on there, so that's why it's a 2010 reprint. The catalogue number is E21740. Here's the front, spine, profile picture of Mira Poppins, and the back. Here's the disc, and inside the left shows the same as the front cover, and the right shows nothing. Uh, 
Okay, next DVD I've got is the only Pixar movie I have so far, Inside Out from 2015. Uh, 2015. It's rated PG and contains mild themes. The catalog number is N25490. Here's the front, spine, profile picture of Joy, and the back. Here are some sleevelets. Anyways, here's the disc. And so left, we have the inside out playset from Disney Infinity 3.0. On our right, it shows nothing. Now, just to let you guys know, in my last DVD update, for Child of Family Favorites, I was showing you the sleevelets for some reason, but either way, I'm not showing you those because that'll be a waste of time. Anyways, then the next DVD I've got is the only Star Wars movie I have so far is Star Wars The Force Awakens from 2016. Relative number is to 2015. It's rated M and contains science fiction themes and violence. I'm, I'm going to plan to get more Star Wars movies on DVD really soon, so stay tuned. The catalog number is E27790. Here's the front, spine, no front picture, and the back. Here's the disc. Inside left we have the sleevelets, which I'm not going to be showing you all that. It'll be a waste of time. Just ignore my mum. And anyways, next DVD I've got is the BFG from 2016. It's for a PG and contains some scenes that may frighten young children. The catalog number is E28510. Here's the front, spine, profile picture of Joy, and the back. Here's the disc. And so left, there's a sleeve lid. Oh, ah, uh, never mind. It fell down. I'd rather stand it up though. So, there we go. Anyways, two to go. Next up with one moment. Captain Marvel from 2019. It's rated M and contains action violence. The catalog number is E32610. I know Jeremy Snyder has this on Blu-ray for some reason. So anyways, here's the front. Spine profile picture of Captain Marvel and the back. Now, unlike with the, now, unlike the Blu-ray version, this DVD does not have special features. And his disc. And the last DVD here I have. Oh, this DVD fell down. A 20th century movie called The Call of the Wild from 2020. It's rated PG and contains mild themes and violence. Now, as you can see, this is the first movie to be released under the 20th century studio's name instead of 20th century Fox. So, yeah. The catalog number is E34380. Here's the front, spine profile picture of Buck the Dog, and the back. And here's the disc. And there you have it, everybody. That was my Walt Disney Studios slash Buena Vista DVD collection. And I'd like to thank you all very much for watching this video. And please make sure to subscribe for more VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, CD, 4K, and games and merch updates in the near future. And until next time, you all should have a really great night. Cheers.